All right, let's talk power systems and all things electrical. So the Topo 2 at its base comes standard with a 100 amp hour lithium ion battery. What does that mean? I wish I could tell you in great detail, but I'll tell you in detail that matters to the end user. Uh, lithium ion battery um, recharges really quickly. So when paired with the 140 watt solar panel that also comes standard with the Topo 2, you're gonna be able to recharge that battery much more quickly than you would a deep cycle lead acid uh, battery. So essentially lithium is the fuel source for that battery versus lead acid where you have a lead acid base as that fuel source. The 100 amp hours is indicative of what that single battery can provide before it needs to be charged. So all the different electrical components inside of your trailer use a certain amount of amperage and pull from that battery. So on the Topo 2, there's a few things. We've got your max air fan, the LED lighting that exists inside of the cabin, as well as inside of the uh, galley. Uh, your Cymarine display unit here is going to use a little bit of that power, um, as well as your Truma. So the Truma monitor, as well as the fan on the Truma um, and the igniter for the Truma are all going to pull from that battery. And then your charging devices. So we have wireless charging on the nightstands. That charging source is coming from that same 100 amp hour lithium ion battery. Uh, and then you have your USB chargers on either side of your trailer. Those are also getting their power source from that battery. So if you place your phone on the wireless charger, that phone is being recharged by the battery that's on board. Now you can upgrade to a 200 amp hour battery system. We just put two batteries in the system. They work in parallel um, and just extend the amount of time you can use your battery before you need to recharge it. If you want to use an appliance that requires uh, standard house power, so AC power, not DC power, uh, we do have outlets inside of both the cabin and the galley. Now on the standard build, that power comes from um, a source other than that 12 volt battery. So you're gonna have to plug your trailer in through shore power, which we will show you uh, momentarily on the outside of the trailer. You just take an extension cord from your house or from um, power that's provided at a campsite and plug your trailer in. When the trailer is plugged in, you will have power to those 110 outlets. Now, if you are less of a campground camper and you are really seeking that off-grid experience and you still wanna bring um, an appliance like a laptop or a coffee maker that requires that 110 power, then you're gonna to wanna to upgrade to the inverter. So we have a 2000 watt inverter option um, that will require upgrading to the 200 amp hour battery option as well. And that inverter is turned on from inside of the cabin. So you can see this whole display panel over here. You've got your inverter switch at the top. You have your interior lighting dial. So these lights are on dimmers. You can control the dimness and brightness of your lights depending on your needs. You have your exterior porch light switch here and you also have your rock rail lights, which are ground lights that are on the frame of the Topo 2. Um, but this top inverter switch, once you power that on, that allows you to plug an appliance into the 110 outlet. And you may have noticed that the Cymarine screen just activated. When we turned that inverter on, it started pulling energy from the battery. So it's taking energy from the battery and then inverting it into the appropriate power source. So it's turning your DC power, that 12 volt power, into 110 AC house power that can be accessed through the outlets. Let's talk a little bit about the Cymarine. Um, this is a systems monitor that is giving you an overview of both the power system um, and estimated uh, lifespan of the battery. So it's currently reading that at our current usage, we are at about 91% battery. And um, this number here that we are going to be able to last another nine days um, and three hours, it maxes out at 10 days. We have our date and time here as well. 
And then there are multiple screens on this unit. So if you click these arrows, it'll take you through different things barograph uh, and then temperatures so we just have the one sensor here for the internal temperature um, and then you have your water tank and this screen is really fun if you like the nerdy stuff this is telling you the current voltage on your battery as well as the current amperage so that is the power that is being drawn the only thing right now that is drawing power is this screen that we're looking at and that's at 0.10 amps so we've talked about some of the different appliances and items that are in the topo 2 that uses that battery power but now your question might be well how do you recharge the battery so we have two options for that. Both of them come standard on the Topo 2. The first one we're going to look at is our shore power port. So underneath this cover, you're gonna notice just that normal three prong. It should look pretty familiar to you. And you're gonna take an extension cord that is plugged in to your house or a power source at a campground. Um, you're gonna take the male end and you're going to plug your trailer in. It's literally as simple as that. This setup will recharge the battery um, that is on board your trailer, and it will also provide pass-through power to the 110 outlets that are located inside of the cabin as well as inside of the galley. The second option for recharging the battery on the Topo 2 is the 140 watt solar panel from Lightleaf Solar. This was custom built and designed around our trailer to match the contours and the curves and mounts very easily onto the rear hatch. But it's also really cleverly designed to be removable so that you can have your trailer set up in the shade and then still get the um, solar panel off and optimized as directly toward the sun as possible. So it comes with this 12 foot cord. These are a pretty standard cord that you can pick up online. Um, you can get these in 25 foot or 50 foot length, depending on your needs. And then you can unplug um, the solar panel right here and connect it to one end of the extension cord. And then you will connect the other end directly into that SAE port. And now from here, we can remove the panel. So you're just gonna twist these knobs and then the panel slides right out. There are kickstands on the back that we can pop out like so. And then we can take the panel into the sunlight and charge our trailer while we are nicely parked in the shade.